It's past 11, the boys are in, so we say good morning to Indigo Bones. That's an interesting name. Where did that come from, guys? Where, where did Indigo Bones come from? <laughs> we just got through like, lots of lots of names. We had a bit of a a bit of a change around and decided that we would need to rename the band. So uh, we just threw a lot of a lot of words at each other. I think we had some gigs lined up, so we needed a name Sharpish. It always helps. Which is how the how yeah. the best bands get named, don't they? You need a name <laughs> Sharpish, and you you come up with something quick. We just sort of threw cool words at each other, didn't we? Until that accommodation yeah. sounded okay. <laughs> Um, yes. Let me just introduce you guys. That's Martin. He sat on a box, but don't ask why. <laughs> uh, then there's Chris, who answered the question and quietly sat in the corner. Mark. Just Hello. morning, Mark. Nice to have you with us. Uh, so yeah, um, you. Uh, how did you meet? Did he say? How did well, we meet? Me and Chris met at, at the first Humber Street sesh. The first ever Humber Street sesh. Yeah, the first ever Humber Street sesh. We was drunkenly in the queue to fruit at the end of the day. <laughs> Surely and, not. Um, it, Chris was just passing conversation. I think my friend was actually hitting on him. But once I mentioned <laughs> that um, I played bass, we began talking music. It was all music after that. Yeah, and then we met up and started playing a bit in a few old bands together. And then um, we went Marty. What, well, a while the, ago. Yeah, the story for that is uh, I was sort of playing a covers band at the time yeah. uh, and really craving sort of writing songs and playing sort of the more underground gigs rather than the sort of the typical pubs and, and clubs that covers bands yeah, do. Yeah. So I went online searching, uh, searching for bands looking for a drummer and I found one band that seemed okay uh, that actually filled the spot but the, the link me to uh, Chris and Mark and said these guys are alright, you might like them and I was like they actually are quite good. Uh, I could probably fix this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Chris, uh, what's the influence then? Who's who's influenced the band the most? Do you think? What are, we were talking about this the other day. We realised um, that we're influenced just almost exclusively by two-piece bands. We're saying, well, we we listen to a lot of. A uh, band called Death from Above, 1979. Oh, right. The White Stripes. You've got Deep Valley. Um, and, and bands like this. We played with a band called Broccoli Forest when we were on, on tour and we realised that two-piece bands just sound like the music that, that we listen to, so lots of two-piece bands. But um, we all listen to different stuff. I mean, you listen to heavier music than... Not anymore, than really. I used to. Um, now that he's sat on a box, he do not do that. Now yeah, that he's sat on a box. Now, now I'm on a box. <laughs> uh, I think a big influence of the band uh, is a band called July Talk, not a Canadian band that not many people know about. Right. Uh, Mark introduced us and sort of was quite vigilant and you have to listen to this. Yeah, no, listen to it now. Uh, right. Sit sit down, Luke. Uh, listen. <laughs> okay, uh, I get it. <laughs> this is a group of very intense lads here. Once they get an idea, they go yeah. for it, right? So we, we, they're, they're absolutely brilliant band. They're sort of two, two, uh, two vocalists, which is something we've we've sort of added to our sound. Yeah. Um, and just sort of groovy, 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 simple drums, which is something I'm... All right, well, uh, let's find out. Mark, what are you going to be playing for us first? Okay, first song we're going to be playing today is Lethal Weapons and Perfect Posture. Yeah. Okay, this is Indigo Bones and Lethal Weapons and Perfect Posture. Rising water, I owe you nothing. I think I ought. 
her and feel my actions a whole new meaning. I saw this coming. For the whole world to see I'm never quite respectable She's never quite a queen She's not doing fine She's far too close to destitute and That's uh, Chris Wellborn, Mark Swan, and uh, Martin Hale, uh, who are Indigo Bums. Yeah, well That's done. Uh, okay, let's just talk for a minute about uh, management, because obviously if you, if you are a band, you need good management to get you gigs. And uh, you seem to have struck lucky there. Perhaps luck had nothing to do with it. I'm intrigued now. I'm sure our manager at the other end of the country is actually listening to this. <laughs> so like, oh, yes, please? our manager is the most wonderful woman you will ever meet. She walks on water. It's incredible. <laughs> uh, no, we... we um, we got approached by a, a yeah. wonderful management company, a wonderful lady who, who works for them, and uh, and we're, we're making magic together, it seems. It was sort of a bit of a weird one. I, I posted on one of these various Facebook sites there are looking for bands looking for gigs. Um, I look, we were looking for a support band for a, a show we were putting on. Yeah. Um, and just by chance, she, she saw the post, um, approached their, sort of their team, and... They, they wanted us, so we, we, we had a meeting at Nando's, which was which was great. Which is now a tradition, which now, a tradition. Uh, yeah. and yeah, we, she, we played a show and she, she liked us, and she's really taken us to the next level. Yeah. I, I think that's fair to say. Mark, how does that help um, having a good manager? I mean, is it just about gigs, or does she critique you, and does she she polish your work? Yeah, I think it's it's really good to have an outsider's feedback, you know, because when you're working on your own music, it's hard to be, you know, really objective about what you're doing, and um, to get someone who really isn't so invested in like creating the music, it's really valuable to have that kind of feedback and someone to like, someone to you know, um, like a mum always saying, "Have you done this today?" You know, have you really kept up on top of things? Yeah. So we've got that kind of pressure yeah. on, which is. Yeah really valuable for us to make sure we're really progressing in the manner that we want to really. Chris, you're getting lots of um, gig events that, you, that you're doing and uh, that's, that's good, that's great. Yeah, absolutely. We've, um, I mean, we just came off our, our, our inaugural UK tour, which has, been, uh, which has been great. So we spent was it a week, week and a half running around the country. We're calling it an international tour because we played one gig in Wales. Ah, um, so that's that's an go. international tour. Oh, certainly. Yeah, no, definitely. it was it was great. We met uh, met a lot of people, played a lot of a lot of good shows with a lot of great bands, um, and uh, and yeah, it's it's great just to, to to run around playing music to new faces. And how how were you received? 
very well, I think. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 well, it seems to be at least. Yeah, yeah. We, all the songs we, we play on tour, we, we'd written two months before. Um, we decided to sort of bin everything we had and start all again. Oh wow! So everything that everybody, <laughs> <Every normal. laughs> everything that anybody had heard. Every time we got positive feedback, we we're like, well, "That's good then." <laughs> we'll we'll have that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do that again. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give us a second track then. Uh, you're obviously about to release a new EP. You've been in the studio. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. But uh, okay, Chris, what you got for us next? This is uh, we're going to play a song called Cells. When when we got asked to do this, we said, uh, said how's our stuff going to translate to acoustic? Because we play a lot of heavy stuff and. Marty had doubts about how this was going to work acoustically, so yeah, it's, it's kind of a joke. We, Mark and I, uh, during rehearsal, took the probably the heaviest track that we've got and turned it into the lightest track that we've ever played. So this is uh, this is a song called Cells, played finger style. Okay. For all my time in gold, I pay for nothing with you. The empty bottles I am sold, and I will pour you into. Pay for all my time in gold, I pay for nothing with you. The empty bottles I am sold, and I will pour you into. I'm tired I lose them all the time Give me new cells, I'm tired I lose them all the time And when all is said and done And all the doors are open and your brilliant acts of one are your most treasured tokens. There's nothing here that's so obscene slowly. Give me new cells, I'm tired. I lose them all the time. Give me Cells, I'm tired. I lose them all the time. For all my time in gold, I pay for nothing with you. The empty bottles I am sold, and I will pour you into. Pay for all my time in gold, I pay for nothing with you. The empty bottles I am sold, and I will pour you into. Give me new cells, I'm tired I lose them all the time Give me new cells, I'm tired I lose them all the time Yeah, fab, well done Okay, so we're uh, <clears throat> we're talking. Uh, you've been on tour. You've been in the studio. You're about to release a new EP. Where can people a get it from, and where can they see you performing next? Uh, probably the best place, to be honest, is that we're, we're on all, all the social media with the, with the cool kids, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, Switched on. Yeah, all all those, all the worldwide cyberspaces. Um, but yeah, <laughs> ind indigobones.co.uk. Indigo like the colour, bones like a skeleton. Uh, .co.uk. There's Everything's on there, the Twitter's on there, the Facebook's on there. The music will be available through SoundCloud and Bandcamp, 
then Spotify, iTunes. If, if it's yeah, if it's a place to get music, you'll probably yeah. find it there. Okay. Um, but yeah, indigobones.co.uk, everything's linked to from there.